Okay, so starting to get back at some of the production work again on the on the Weisenborn project. Um, been must be nearly ten days since I really have done much on it. Although I've done a few little bits and pieces, kind of uh, on the side uh, where I could get it fitted in, but we didn't get an opportunity to film that. So, uh, so what I'm doing actually today is molding the headstock. So inside the headstock, there's going to be a solid, a solid section. So we cast that last week, and uh, that is going to be the shape of what goes inside the headstock. So basically, it's a miniature version of what's up here. It's uh, two millimeters smaller than the outside profile. So, um, uh, so basically, this will be covered with a skin of carbon fiber in the process. Um, so what I've done is made this first, polished that up, treated all the surface and uh, then I made this flange here. Pretty much exactly the same process as we did when we were actually making this mold. And, uh, and that is now ready to start to make the first half of the mold. I'm just going to give it a coat of wax and uh, then we'll be ready to go with the gel coat. And um, then the, the different coats of fiberglass. So this is just to kind of give it the last bit of protection to make sure it all releases whenever we want to take it back out of the mold. And uh, it's also going to seal any little gaps around this edge. So it's nice to get back to actually getting this thing finished. And uh, I think we're nearly two weeks into this or more. Three weeks, I guess. But uh, I think within a couple of days we should be ready to actually make the very first instrument. Mixing up this polyester cooling gel coat and use 3% of MAKP catalyst. And this is a special gel coat that's designed to give a really hard surface to the mold. It uh, stops the resin from sticking to it and just gives it a really durable, long lasting surface. And normally I spray this on. Um, but on a small mold like this, we can easily get away with just putting it on my brush. Okay, that's that step. We'll let that cure now for uh, about an hour and uh, give it some small time at our curing oven. And then we'll start to lay it up in the fiberglass. So I've put the polyester on now and uh, it's cured. So now I'm gonna put on the, the different layers of fiberglass. So the very first step of putting on is a little layer of, um, of resin with aluminum powder in it and uh, that just yeah, gives a little bit of a putty base. So that, uh, that putty is going to kind of take away, soften all the edges and uh, stops us from having the air bubbles in there. So now what I'm putting is some fine chopped glass on top. I'll uh, work that into it and that also is going to go into all the small details and crevices. I'm using a, a very thin layer of fiberglass and it's designed for a skin coat, so it's not really creating any strength, it's just creating a skin over the, the fiberglass. And we use a very thin layer of fiberglass because it conforms much easier. If it's heavier glass, then it 
It doesn't want to bend and twist. Then we'll let this harden and then we'll back it up with about six layers of heavier grade fiberglass with uh, non shrinkage chilling resin. So that's it, that's the first skin coat, and uh, I'll pop it in the oven, let it cure, and then we'll follow it up. So that's the fiberglass all on, and uh, while you've been watching me work, you've been listening to Simon Jones uh, playing some, uh, some beautiful slide. Okay, so that's one half of the mold done, and uh, I just have to do the whole thing over again. Okay, so we're kind of getting to the, the last stages of this now. That's uh, about eight different stages really to get it to here. So all I've got to do now is just do the last layers of reinforcement. Okay, well that's pretty much that done. Uh, a lot of different steps in that today. Uh, pretty long day actually. I know it's condensed into 10 minutes, but we've been at it for, I think, 13 hours so far today. Um, so a little bit of a marathon. While I've been doing this, actually, I've been working on another component of the guitar, uh, which you're not going to get to see. Uh, but maybe I'll tell you a little bit about what that is tomorrow. Um, anyway, uh, you've been listening to Gabriel uh, Posenato, I think it is, uh, in the background, and we we're going to play out with that. Also, I want to give a shout out to a fan who apparently has been watching every single one of these videos. So, a uh, very special guy, Ethan Russell. Ethan, uh, whenever we get one of these finished, we're going to bring it in and let you see it. So, uh, 
See you soon, Ethan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow.